Jake Paul and uh, Anderson Silva. How do you see it? Man, I don't know. This is a, this is a good test striking-wise for Jake. But at the same time, man, Anderson, he, he's one of the GOATs. He is the GOAT of mixed martial arts. Um, stylistically, he's always been a very big inspiration to me. Um, just skill set wise, you know, the jujitsu, the kickboxing, the striking, the putting your hands down, the showboating. It's very entertaining. So uh, to see him stepping into the boxing world towards the end of his career and, and really solidifying himself as one of the GOATs of all well rounded strikers, um, I think it's, it's dope. And then for Jake, you know what I mean? It's, it's a first real test. It's a first real test. Um, but at the same time, man, Anderson Chin been touched a lot, you know what I mean? So it, it's, can Anderson rock this dude and get him out of there and can Jake get him out of there you know what I mean one of the most impeccable defense fighters he's just the dude is phenomenal you know what I mean so it's gonna be interesting honestly I'm excited to see that that's what December right yeah uh, no. no I think in October end of October October 29th in Arizona oh so this is going around the corner yeah. I, I might have to pull up to that <laughs> <laughs> would it surprise you if either one gets knocked out no <laughs> no no honestly Man, see, one thing I will have to be honest with that my father is very correct about is that youth, man. That youth is something different, you know. So uh, Anderson, you know, Jake's chin hasn't really been touched, touched like that. So uh, I think it's going to get touched a few times in this one. But can he fire back and give, and give Anderson something is going to be the key. Because if, if he touches Anderson on the chin, but Anderson got eight, ten seconds to get back up. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of factors going in here. But um, I'd have to go Jake, man. But obviously, I'm rooting for the GOAT Anderson all day. What people don't realize is Jake Paul is in the damn gym every day. He's not blowing weed. He's not out drinking and banging chicks. This man is dedicated to his craft. And he keeps getting better and better and better. Y'all going to put some respect on his name. Anderson Silva is the GOAT. Nothing negative to say about him, but... Jake Paul hits too hard, and he's a lot faster. What beats speed is timing. What beats timing and speed is power. Jake Paul possesses all three of them. Good timing, good speed, and he's young. The odds are I just don't see what Silva's going to do. I think Silva's going to get finished. I think the ref's going to stop it because he's a warrior, but Jake Paul's a, a savage, man. That guy's trains. I've, I've had guys in his camp. I've worked with uh, MVP. I've seen how they move. Jake Paul is truly dedicated to his craft. And then I'll shout to go out to Jake Paul because he's, he's for real. Is there a, a, a scenario that you could see the fight going the distance? I can see it going the distance because Silva's had so much ring experience that he knows how to shy away. But you're talking about a young gun coming forward. It's loaded, and it can shoot at any moment. And you're on the defense, not good options backing up because Silva was never a backup fighter like that. He was kind of slip, faint, pop, and you know what I mean? You're dealing with somebody that's powerful, that hits hard, and he's tough. He wants to win. So I'm looking forward to that fight. Hey, you knocked Tyron Willie out like that. Tyron ain't never been knocked out like that. People say, oh, it was fixed, it was fixed. I tell you, nobody fixes a fight where they get slept like that. Tyrone, by the way? Yeah, all the time. How was how, how he? He's doing great. He's, you know, he's rededicating himself and getting himself together and being a family man and starting to tie things up, mature as a person, a man of God, coming back, doing the right, the right way. Did the, the loss, the way it happened, did it affect him a lot or he kind of just shrugged it off? Any knockout like that affects you, whether it's mentally whether it's physically, it affects you. For your kids, your mother, your fans to see you out like that, that hurts. For me to see it, it hurts. So, yes, it did, it did affect him, but it affected him in a good way because the champion's able to come back from it and be a better person. So let's see what he does. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.